The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good afternoon, my friends. Skycam Network showing a pretty similar picture to the past few days. Clouds still in the area and temperatures now in the mid and lower 70s. We have been nothing if not consistent. And as of now, our temperatures are still just if not completely the same as yesterday. We're just a few degrees warmer. Right now, sitting at 73 in Roanoke, 76 in Covington, a pair of 73s in Lexington and Bedford. Now 72 degrees in South Boston. Now this is why we have had some mugginess over the past few days along with the showers and even a few rumbles of thunder and very misty conditions each morning. We still are tracking this center of low pressure that is just off of the coast that is bringing a lot of that moisture and aiding in the opportunity for that precip. Not just today, but we will continue this and we'll eventually dwindle as we head into the weekend. But we are still keeping things fairly consistent with this pattern. As of now, nothing more than a couple of pop up showers, a little bit of radar scatter going on as well. But overall, most of us are dry and this will be the story over the next few hours as we head into the afternoon. We'll still see that chance for those pop up showers and storms but the coverage will not be widespread by any means. Over the next few hours as well, along with that rain chance, we are still keeping around the humidity as well. And it is going to be certainly another muggy day as we continue with that low pressure system that is just off of the shore. But the good news is that rain is much needed. We did have the state drought monitor. This was updated this morning and saw a few changes in Hillsville Independence. The all were in also included in that abnormally dry category just recently added to that today. Rest of us stayed the same into that moderate abnormally dry into the severe and extreme drought for the portions of the Highlands zone. So we still need a lot of rainfall. Now the rain that we did receive on Tuesday, that was not included in this week's data because of the soil sample that was taken on Tuesday. So we will hopefully see at least a slight improvement this time next week. And also keeping an eye out for those fall colors. Fall does officially begin in three days. And the drought conditions actually play a large part in the amount of color that we are looking to see. Need to see a little bit more rainfall. We're starting to see at least a little bit of low color in West Virginia, but that will continue over the next few weeks. We will keep an eye on that, and we certainly need to see a little bit more rainfall and some cooler temperatures in order to see those colors begin to turn a little bit more. On the broad scale, tracking over the next few days, we have our next big weather maker that center low pressure in that front that will eventually be traveling towards our area. But for now, we still have that center low pressure that is just off the coast, and that broad circulation is bringing in a few of those showers. High pressure eventually will move in on Friday. We will clear things out in terms of our rain chances and still keep a few clouds around, and that will take control over the weekend. That's why we are staying dry this weekend and it will be gorgeous. If you have any outdoor plans, it'll be very pleasant. And our next weather maker is on the way for next work week. We will continue to see that. And again, we are still seeing those seasonal temperatures for the next few days. Three day forecast 77 degrees for your high temperature today. And we are back with those warmer temperatures back in the mid 80s for the weekend.